high. In many cases, you want to make it very visible if a certain value is true or false. So you can use for that for images for that. And in this case, we're going to use checkboxes. So when the discount is given, we're going to show this text box. When no discount is given, we're going to show this one. How to do that in PDF Butter? Well, of course, we'll need some merge fields. So we're going to create a merge field next to our checkbox on and off for every checkbox so we can control to show or hide uh, any of the checkboxes. Make sure that the images you put are in line, means that they are in the same paragraph as this uh, uh, merge field. Uh, you can always check that with this paragraph uh, sign. So you will see here that it's in the same paragraph and you will also see the end sign uh, paragraph for a table for a cell. So uh, these ones are in the same paragraph and these ones are in the same paragraph. Okay, now let's go to PDF Butler and start the configuration. First of all, I'm going to create a new doc config. I'm going to call it show checkboxes in this case. So, okay, and the title is not that important and I'm not going to store it. So let's create this one. Everybody's been here a thousand times, I assume, by now. So everybody knows this. Of course, now I have to upload my document. So I'm just going to uh, copy the path um, of the document and paste it here. I'll paste it here. OK, my document is uploaded and I'm just going to call it V1. I'm going to uh, create a data source next so the data source is going to be called uh, maybe i'll use an existing one because uh, we already know how to create data sources and i'm just going to add a field to this one on my uh, opportunity uh, uh, my opportunity product i have a field called discount has discount so i'm going to add the field and then um, I'm going to save this uh, query. So I have my data source now and I'm just going to add it here. Uh, it was called opportunity products and it has the field has discount as a Boolean. OK, that's good. Now uh, I did in my configuration, I've created a table with a table row. So uh, of course, now I have to indicate to the system to repeat this table row. It doesn't have to be in a table. It doesn't have to be in a table row. You can just do it standalone as well. But for this matter, I've uh, done it like this. So I'm going to call it table row prod name. It's going to be of type, not paragraph, but table row. The data source is going to be our opportunity products, the merge fields. And of course, <clears throat> I can leave it just like it, like it is. I don't have to fill in anything more. And then next step, I'm going to add the uh, uh, all the single config types to replace my product name. OK, and another one to fill in my quantity. OK, I have to maybe copy the merge field from here fill in my quantity okay um yeah no formatting for now it's not part of this uh, of this demo of this training and next up i'm gonna add my merge fields to show or, or hide this uh, certain uh, uh, checkbox this certain image okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna um add a merge field i'm gonna call it uh yeah just the name of this one and it's gonna be of type paragraph very important why paragraph because we might want to remove this entire paragraph okay so that's clear now so i'm gonna call it no discount to remove merge field action is going to be merge field only why because if we are going to leave this uh, picture here then of course we want to remove the merge field we do not want to see this eh, although we want to keep the paragraph and next up uh, we'll add this one first and then we'll add a second uh, paragraph for discount 
Okay, the data source, it's, oh, sorry, I've uh, misclicked. I have to, of course, add it under, as a child, under this one. It's a single, no, it's a paragraph. Uh, it's gonna be discount, a merge field, and again, merge field only to remove it. Okay, now let's go back to our paragraphs and let's uh, add some criteria. We wanna add a criteria on the uh, has discount, where we say, well, this is the no discount. So is the, is the has discount um, equals false? We actually want to show this one. So it will only show when the has discount is false. Means there is no discount, so show the empty checkbox. Okay, that's clear. Now I do the same thing for this one. I'll add an... Uh, um, uh, criteria again on the has discount and this one I want to show when the has discount is true so okay I'm going to save of course no validation errors everything checks out looking good so I'm gonna to go to my doc config um, I have a lot of demos here as you can see uh, and this one was called show checkboxes so I'm gonna copy the ID. Why? Because I'm now going to go to an opportunity and try out my, let's take uh, the Rhino cars. Why not? Let's see if there are some products here. Yeah, there are two products and let's check out. This one has a discount and the other one has no discount. Okay. So we have that checked. I'll now add my Doc config to the list of doc configs here. It's a long list in this uh, demo org. Okay, let's add it at the end. Uh, comma, and then just the new ID. Okay, and go back. So let's see if our configuration has worked. I just click the button to generate the PDF. So it takes the data from the opportunities and indeed, the one that had a discount has now the checkbox discount checked and the one that didn't have a discount has now the checkbox unchecked for it that didn't have a discount. So this is how easy it is to actually generate uh, these checkboxes, add images, make your uh, proposals a little bit more uh, intuitive and uh, nice to look at for your customer and adding uh, this uh, criteria on the paragraphs for your, uh, for your pictures. Okay, so if any more questions, please send a mail to support at pdfbutter.com. On our Academy page, you will be able to download this document and you will be able to download the pictures of these uh, checkboxes. We have optimized them for uh, uh, the, perfect, uh, the perfect size and you still see that these are very nice and very good in, uh, in quality. So if you want to use these checkboxes, be our guest. They are just available from the Academy to download. And of course, they are already part of this uh, 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 Word document that always going to be also going to be available via the academy thanks and see you later